Happy Friday. This is Charity with Faith Open Charity, and I have a very, very special guest. She has been with me for one year and two weeks, I think. Something like that. Mm -hmm. This is Brandy LaFontaine, and yesterday was her 35th wedding mm -hmm. anniversary. Mm -hmm. So happy anniversary. Thank you so much. So they're they're on vacation here and so we get to meet and we had them we had her and her husband over for dinner and the guys are talking in one room and we're hiding in the bedroom so it's quiet <laughs> so we can do a testimonial live on here because mm -hmm. Brandy has had an amazing transformation mm -hmm. in the last year so we're gonna go back about one year and one month ago so let's say summer of last year mm -hmm. I want you to tell me what life was like for you last summer? Um, miserable. So I would spend a lot of time on the couch. I would spend a lot of time in the chair. And I was in pain and the inflammation and the digestion, the headaches, and then that all led to depression. Cause I, even before COVID, I became a shut-in, right? So of my own accord, because I didn't want to leave the house. So, um, you know, I was not happy with anything including the state of my my health you know and then that led to um i mean thank goodness my husband was patient but uh and my family was patient but it was terrible it was awful i i just was miserable i'd get up in the morning and i didn't even sleep the night before because even tossing and turning um you know like you lay too long on your left hip and your hip hurts so then you have to so you never get into total deep sleep or anything like that so you wake up tired you go to get out of bed and you hobble like you're an 80 year old woman and you know it was just awful so i'd get out and i'd be all like trying to you know unfold stretch whatever and there were times like I fall down the stairs because, you know, my feet would give out from underneath me and we have an old colonial home and I would just like tumble. Thank goodness I never got hurt. But anyways, so, um, and then, um, you get up and you like try to live, you know, muster through mm -hmm. and go through. So I get everybody off to work, off to school, and then I would just get my cup of coffee and I'd sit back down again. Like, then I was tired. I was spent. I was exhausted. And once you sit down, you can't get back up because you're, you know, you just don't have the energy. And then you're just like, well, I'm just going to sit here for a little bit. And then you start binging, let's say Hallmark, your, your favorite shows, whatever you're doing. And then the next thing I know, everybody's ready to be home. And so then I have to get back up again. And even though I didn't feel like it and you think, okay, I'm having a cup of coffee. Right. And so, and, and you're like, let's have a piece of toast. Let's have some bread, mm -hmm. you know, some crackers. Some crackers. Yeah. 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 Put some creamer, some French vanilla creamer in your coffee because yeah. now your stomach's upset because you have all this acid in your stomach. So, so you had a lot of pain, a lot mm -hmm. of swelling, a lot of inflammation, mm -hmm. uh, depression, depression, anxiety, oh, yeah. tired, tired, like, can't, tired, can't do anything. Sick and tired is what yeah. I, yeah, yeah, I would say too. So yeah. you couldn't get, she couldn't get her cowboy boots mm -hmm. on. You couldn't no. wear your wedding ring and no. had to cut off. Yeah, my wedding ring. I had to cut my wedding ring because my fingers were so swollen and it was cutting off the circulation. And so the, my whole goal, my whole main reason why, this I just had to put a small goal in front of me and say, you know, and I'm watching Charity online. She's full of energy, you know, yeah. stuff like that. And I'm like, this was my last reason. Resort. Like they were telling me I had to be checked for MS, right? Because they didn't know what was wrong with me. I've had every test under the sun done throughout my whole life, right. but, but especially the last few years. And so they thought I had Lyme disease because of all the, you know, the, the no yeah. mobility, you know, and right. the headaches and everything. Right. So then they kept coming up negative. Well, then they kept saying, well, um, you're getting it you know, we're getting a false negative, mm -hmm. you know, and then they want to put you on medications. They want to put you on pain relievers. They want to, you know, mm -hmm. and so I wouldn't take the, the prescriptions, right. you know, um, but I, I was living on like even two antacids. Like mm -hmm. that's another thing. I had this super oh, yeah. bad indigestion and, yes. you know, yes. all that stuff. So, so she was living in that state mm -hmm. and, and, um, was at the end of the rope, I would say. Yeah, 100. And, mm -hmm she was seeing me post mm -hmm. about things and like, Oh, I need to do something. And mm -hmm. so she made a phone call mm -hmm. 
probably the hardest phone call of her life. Yes. Uh, was to me uh, September 29th of last year and said, Hey, I'm interested in that trim healthy that you're doing. Can mm -hmm. you tell me about mm -hmm. that? And I'm like, yes, mm -hmm. I can. And so from that day on, mm -hmm. we set some goals. And mm -hmm. the first goal was her running anniversary 34 years was coming up in six weeks, I think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. six weeks time. And I said, uh, what's your goal? And she's like to get my running ring on by my 34th anniversary. So that mm -hmm. was six weeks. And guess what? The in no time. Yeah. Like, I mean, in half that time. Yeah. Yeah. And yep. then she got her cowboy boots on that mm -hmm. she hadn't been able to get on because her ankles were so swollen. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, because the boot is long, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the cowboy boots are long. And so you have to bend your ankles, like, you know, your right. feet to get into them. You couldn't bend my feet. I was too swollen. Yeah. I was too, um, you know, didn't have the mobility, didn't have the flexibility in my in my mm -hmm. foot to even get the boots on. And if I did get them on, like, like let's say I'm having a great day. Mm -hmm. I'm having a great day. I get my boot on. And what happens is, is then you can't get them off. Yeah. 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 So then your husband, you're sitting in the chair and he's trying to pull your boot off and you're being drugged around the kitchen. Trying to get your boot off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's real life. Yes. <laughs> yes. So she, she started seeing transformation, feeling good.